we choose our friends and form friendships over time based on a lot of factors such as age education race lived experience shared experiences and much much more but there are some instances where people once in a while meet a random person and immediately hit it off with them in a non romantic non sexual way these friendships form instantly and with extreme comfort from both sides what is common to two complete strangers that makes them immediately bond with each other even when there's very minimal verbal exchange or when people don't even understand each other or each other's backgrounds these researchers from this new study think it is body odor or bo it seems that we might subconsciously be choosing these click friends or instant friends based on how similar their body's natural odor is to our own bo that we are very familiar with and these researchers conducted detailed experiments to prove their hypothesis so let's take a look at these body odor experiments and previous studies on both friendships and body odor and find out do we really form click friendships with strangers based on how similar their body odor is to our own bio Body odor plays an important role in how all terrestrial mammals understand and respond to each other and other individuals. This is evident in how dogs and other pets smell each other by way of introduction. Pretty much all of us have seen dogs sniff other dogs' butts. We think it's disgusting, but it is essential to their survival. It's like a handshake for them. They gather all information they want from the other dog by sniffing the dog's hormones that are produced by the anal glands and other glands around the dog's posterior. And this is true for nearly all terrestrial mammals. All of them rely on some form of olfactory input to understand other individuals. Humans too are known to sniff each other, each other's skin and hair especially, and this is more common in romantic relationships. The smell of people's skin and hair and the feelings that these olfactory stimuli evoke have even made it to song lyrics. But the purpose of olfactory input in social relationships continues to be slightly unclear, especially in the case of non-romantic, non-sexual relationships. As humans we not only sniff others but also ourselves subconsciously becoming intimately familiar with our own natural body odor. We don't realize we're doing this but we are sniffing ourselves all the time. We are also strongly bonded to the body odor of our biological family unit, preferring to engage in romantic relationships with people who have similar or overlapping smells as what we are used to. After giving birth, a mother is capable of identifying the scent of her newborn over the smells of other newborns and prefers her baby smell over the smell of other babies, indicating that a child's body odor, a newborn's body odor, is a chemo signaling mechanism to invoke parental care. A child also innately learns to recognize the mother's natural body scent and this recognition persists in your memory your whole life. Even in social interactions involving contact such as handshakes, scientists have observed subconscious sniffing behavior among everyone who shakes hands, which represents chemo signaling processing in our brains. After shaking hands within the same gender with strangers, people tend to sniff their right hand, the hand that was shaken. After shaking hands with someone from the opposite gender, people tend to subconsciously sniff their non-shaken left hand. We might not realize we're doing this, but subconsciously we do this in multiple ways by making sure to bring our palms close to our faces and sniff them. When it comes to body odor and other people's natural sense, people are also capable of sensing, so to say, danger or discomfort from body odors, feeling a sense of fear around another person, which has been proven in studies. A happy emotional state can also be communicated through body odors to other people via chemo signals that a happy person emits which others can pick up from the body odor and understand. All of this happens without conscious human processing. Following data from such studies, 
These scientists theorize that humans might be selecting these instantaneous click friends based on how similar or familiar a stranger's body odor is compared to their own. After all, we do select friends, especially same-sex friends, primarily based on how similar they are to us. Whether they have a similar background or upbringing, similar lived experience and similar trauma, similar race, similar interests, similar personalities and so on. This goes even further than we realize. Studies have shown that we tend to prefer people who we perceive as being similarly attractive to us physically and sometimes as having similar neural networks and believe it or not, even similar genetic makeup. None of these are conscious choices. Again, these are all subconscious factors that drive non-romantic same-sex friendships. So why not similar bio? To confirm their hypothesis, these researchers from Israel had to test their theories about click friendships, test the odors of established click friends, then enable new click friendships and then test those odors too. So the authors divided their experiments into multiple parts. First, they confirmed the existence of the click friendship phenomenon. They recruited 235 same-sex non-romantic click friends who all had formed and self-reported having formed instantaneous friendships, which they describe as click friendship. The authors asked these people to describe what a click friendship was in their own words and noted these descriptions down. After this, they then conducted a six month long social media recruitment campaign for click friend pairs ending up with a total of 10 same-sex friendship pairs among men and women each. So a total of 40 participants and all of them affirmed their click friendship and described it in the same terms as the earlier group of participants. The authors then harvested the body odors of each of these click friend pairs and the researchers found that when compared to other random individuals' smells, click friend pairs had similar odors. Next, the team recruited 24 smellers, completely different people who were wearing a nasal cannula and a spirometer to measure the airflow in the experiment. These smellers were given these body odor samples in groups of three. This is typically a triangle test where two form a match and the third, the outlier, has to be identified. Each group of three or a triangle that a smeller was given had a click pair and an extra person and the smellers were asked to rate the smells, the three smells for similarity, for warmth and good nature, for sexual attractiveness and also identify who the click pair was and who the extra person was. The authors found that while their device and e-nose that they had constructed which could sample these smells was able to tell who a click friend pair was, individual smellers were not able to do this. However, while they could not tell who a pair was and who the outlier was, they still rated smells of a click pair as being more attractive in each triangle. Additionally, the smellers also sniffed the click pair odors for approximately the same amount of time while they took either longer or shorter to sniff out the outlier. Lastly, they had to test if this works in real life. So the researchers recruited 17 strangers and collected their individual body odors. They then divided these people into different combinations of pairs. In the experiment, the participants were asked to stand physically very close to each other, just 50 centimeters apart, and not speak. They were then asked to perform a mirror experiment where they basically mirrored each other's hand and body movements. These movements enabled dispersion of body odor, and there was no verbal exchange at all. Participants were then asked to rate the quality of the different interactions that they had and which persons they thought they clicked with. Individuals from 22 different pairs self-reported clicking without having had a verbal exchange and the researchers found that these individuals had similar body sense to the person that they thought they clicked with. Chemically similar smell pairs also reported higher quality of interaction and these people had actually never interacted verbally with each other. The authors note that the chemical similarity between click pairs was not explained by race, country of birth, mother tongue, values and principles, education, marital status, 
smoking or alcohol or caffeine consumption, health issues, professional line of work or any other factor. The only explanation left was the hypothesis that they started out with, which is similarities in bio. So while this study was limited to Israel and was quite small and will need to be replicated elsewhere, the methods used strongly suggest that the hypothesis might be true after all. We might form deeper friendships over other factors that we value more, but instantaneous, comfortable click friendships are most likely formed based on how similar our brain thinks another person's body smells to our own.